It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. Nick Raybar is here. <laughs> Avenue N is the place, two locations. Uh, Gnocchi Primavera is on the menu today. Nick, good to see you. Good to see you, Will. Nice to see you. I'm so excited. You know, it's, it's such a... It's such a beautiful time of year it to is. be cooking, isn't right. it? Yes, it is. And uh, and a primavera is something that you know means spring right. and is very light. And typically, you see um, ingredients that you would warmly recognize. Maybe it's pepper. Maybe it's zucchini. Maybe yeah. it's summer squash. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a different take on it today. And and the gnocchi that you're making for for anybody who yes. hasn't had it before, I love it. Yeah. I mean, oh it's my goodness, gnocchi. So gnocchi is typically a potato based pasta. Right. So you know you also have flour in there, but it, but, you know, the potato makes it, gives it its own unique characteristics. Okay. So I made my own gnocchi, but you don't have to make your own. There's so many great store that you can, that you can just buy, buy yeah. them, save right. yourself a lot of time. Right. But I made mine with potato and sunchokes. Sunchokes are like a little bit of a tuber. They're also called a Jerusalem artichoke. Oh, okay. And they they're, they add a little bit of sweetness and rusticness to it. Yeah. Uh, it's like a jicama flavor. I don't think or, I've ever had one. It's so good. I, You're going to love it. I like artichoke, it. but I've never had something like that. You are going to love this. Okay. You're going to love this. So it's the potato, the flour, a little bit of chive, egg, and the um, and the um, stud chokes in yep. there. Yep. So we're going to toss that with radish, which is, you know, fabulous for spring, asparagus, which is fabulous for spring, a little bit of dill, and some micro herbs. So all of that's going to go together with your basic brothy, you know, white wine, a little right. bit of butter, some stock, olive oil, and then, you know, saute some garlics and chives for some Ooh. aromatic vegetables in there. And then to finish, we're going to put all that together and top it with Light ricotta cheese, okay, from Narragansett Creamery. Oh, you know, I, we love promoting. We love them. We, we love, love and look at them. They're 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 more famous than 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 Will Gilbert. Well, I think. That, well, let's not go that, that far. That's fine they're more me. famous than Nick Raybar. I think. I don't know about. I know they put out a spread. <laughs> Maybe from, not Will Gilbert. They put a spread out for Michaela and I, and it was delicious. <laughs> so I'm all for that. They're the they're the greatest. And then a little bit of fresh lemon zest okay. on there as well, because lemon pasta ricotta. It's perfect all for this time of year. Perfect for this time. Sounds of year. great to me. We'll put this together. Talk about the restaurant. Give it a try. Back to you. <laughs> smells so good here in the Rocho Kitchen. Nick Raybar, Avenue Who N, knew, is the restaurant. Gnocchi Primavera is on the is on the menu today. If you haven't had this, you can uh, you can make this at home. You can go out and you know buy something like this and then kind of adapt your super your own. easy, super easy to super put together. Easy. So Nick's got it going. Yeah. So we're sautéing the gnocchi, Will. Okay. So I you know I made the gnocchi from sunchokes and potatoes, and then I I parboiled it with a little bit of salted water. Right. And cooled it, and now I'm just sautéing it to reheat it. That adds a nice little brown crust and texture to and, it. And Nick, when you make the gnocchi, I think you've made this, made it here before. Yes. Even that's pretty easy to put together. It's so right? easy. It's yeah. like, and it's fun. Like that's, I, people ask me about my childhood memories of cooking. Like my grandmother was, you know. She came to the country right. in, you know, late, later in life, and yep. my father was almost 10 years old when he came here, and uh, she made all of her own pasta. Yeah. And, you know, she had this big board, big rolling pan, and she's just, just like you would see, a big, you know, pond of flour with eggs in the middle, and, and she kinda, made it, and she knew exactly what she was doing. Right. So, you know, I keep that that same little family history going in the restaurant. We love to make almost all of our own pastas. So that's gnocchi, and in this pan, Will, I sauteed shallots and garlic, deglazed with white wine, put in a little stock and a little bit of butter. Now, yep. at this point, we've got a few things happening, okay. okay? I've taken some asparagus, I've chopped it, and I've I blanched it, okay? Yep. A little salted water. I'm gonna right. go in there with that. So I want a lot of ingredients. I like a lot of ingredients, like pasta is a lot of pasta to nothing. I'm big into stuff to pasta ratio. You okay. know what I mean? Yep. So now let's go in with the sa with the saute gnocchi. And I cooked some radish as well. Ooh, that looks so good. Yeah, these are beautiful little spring, oh, beautiful man, little spring ingredients. That looks so good. And like I said, you know, primavera, thanks, Will. And primavera is oftentimes, you know, your basics, you know, your carrots and your peppers and your, you know, your zucchini and your summer squash. Right. It can be anything you want. I mean, and so let's go in with a little bit of dill because you got to have, a, you know, fresh dill in the spring. Dill, do you ever grow dill at home, Will? It's, uh, yes, it, it just sprouts, it grows like crazy. Trimming, it right. grows yeah. everywhere, yeah. and it's so, and it's one of the first herbs to pop every year. And now look at that. See how absolutely Beautiful. simple and absolutely like you would not commonly think of, okay, let's put rad and see, it's not swimming in sauce either. Right. That's a big secret, Will, is you don't want it swimming in sauce. You want enough sauce that it coats. You don't want a soup. You don't want a soup. You, you want soup. enough that it's going to coat the pasta, and when you take it out, you actually have ingredients just looking at that that looks like spring yeah it, it is it's exactly yeah. thank you so much that was the goal i mean again primavera means spring and it, it it's you know it's always a, <laughs> it's a I no now you know well see well, i've got you brainwashed here <laughs> with this primavera yeah so look at that so sunchoke gnocchi radishes 
asparagus, you, if you don't have asparagus, you can use spring peas. Peas are very abundant at this time. Well, not yet, but they're going to be very shortly. You know, and we're coming out of winter. We're heading into making great dishes like this. Let's top it off, Will, with a little bit of ricotta cheese. Okay. okay. Right. Just a tiny bit there. Some Parmesan because you got to have a little parm on the pasta. Wow, we. All right, and then yep. lemon zest, really. You need the zester? Oh, you got a zester. Yeah, okay. we got a zest. I, I well, come prepared. No, 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 the only reason why I'm saying that is because it was a zester over I here. I brought my own zester because <laughs> I didn't want to take any, I never bring anything but my little bag of tricks. Show everyone my bag of tricks there, Will. Hang on, I show on. up. I'll, I'm your lovely assistant. I show up with just a brown bag, kids at home, all right, you don't need your coolers. The road show has everything. And at least he's polite. Please do not touch. With a smiley face at the end. With a smiley face. I'm well mattered, Will. It's no swear words on there. No swear words. No, no, not not this time. But they have touched it at work before. And I've showed up and been like, where's the Where is it? Oh, it's sitting back at Old Avenue and that old trick. So, Will, give it a little bit of life. Give it a little bit of life, okay? See, road show has its own zester. And, you know, again, herbs in the spring are so, so special, Will. Looks beautiful. And this is just a little micro arugula which I get from a local farm called Two Friends Farm. And uh, you know, when we're not making our own stuff, you know, we're buying the ricotta and we're buying the herbs from, from a lot of local, local places. places. Yeah, a lot of and local places, well, there it is. It's so simple right. and it's so easy and it's so spring and it's different, have fun. That's yeah. the beauty of cooking. Okay, so spring is here, uh, folks are crazy just dying to get outside and eat outside i know they both are. of your locations yes you can eat inside which is which is fantastic yes. you have great location outside if people feel more comfortable absolutely and you said to me you see people coming out which i can't i can't so believe it yeah see. i can't believe it it's you know it was it's been a long year for all restaurants and um, i think i speak for all of them when i when i say thank you yes. for having faith in us thank you for coming back out this weekend was I, could, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. That's great. I'm, people, not, I'm knocking on wood. No, here. please, yeah. knock on all of it here. <laughs> people are happy, you know, and they right. feel safe, and the world is getting better by the minute. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's, that's, it, was, it was really special to yeah, see. That's really, really so nice. special. So Nick has two locations, one in Rumford, which is just a beautiful location. You can go into the pantry as well and pick something up nice. And then another beautiful location on, uh, on Hope Street yeah, in Providence. So you can walk Blackstone yes. Boulevard and then feel, if you're hungry, go over, stroll over, and see. And That's see it. And I'm there. I'm, I bounce around to both of them yes. every single day. So odds are, sadly, for your sake, you'll probably <laughs> run into me. <laughs> but we have a lot of fun. The restaurants are, thanks to everybody, are doing yeah. are doing just fine. And go in and say hi. If you would like this recipe, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.